Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm filming the 10th episode of the 100 Beer Challenge. Um, we're looking at our 5th European beer today, Beer Moretti from uh, Italy. I hope you enjoy the video guys, thank you. Here a little bit about the beer before obviously I get to try and review it. Uh, it was first founded in 1859 by a gentleman called Luigi Moretti in the town of Udine. Uh, at this time, Udine was still part of the Austrian Empire, and believe it or not, the company were initially, they were expected to produce a quarter of a million litre, litres of beer per the you know, for, for the first year um, to reach the provincial demand. Uh, obviously, back then, that's a, that's a lot of beer. Um, extraordinary. Uh, the Moretti family owned the brewery up until 1989. Uh, they then sold it to a consortium of other brewers, and then eventually in 1996, a well-known Dutch firm, Heineken, we've all heard of them, they, they bought the company. So yeah, quite an interesting um, history of the beer. Uh, the Moretti family obviously owned it for a long time. I think, you know, around 130, 140 years, something like that. That's just quick maths in my head. I'm not going to work it out properly. But, uh, you know, that's a long time to own a company and fair play to, you know, to keep it in the family that long. But as most things happen, you know, nowadays, they, they, you know, they get sold to, to bigger companies. That's what happens. But yeah, very interesting history. Yeah, um, beer Moretti. It, it's a pale lager, of course. Uh, it comes in at 4.6%. I've got it here in a 660 milliliter bottle. It's a massive bottle, that, isn't it? I mean, it was two for four quid in my local shop. I thought, oh, I ever buy one. Or I buy two, and it worked out cheaper to buy two. So there we go. I'll I'll enjoy another one later. But yeah, uh, it's meant to um, be finally bitter. It's meant to have a nice balance to it with floral notes. My favourite word, floral, and the initial aromas. The you know like a barley malt aroma. Uh, what I'll do, I'll crack it open and test it out for myself, shall I? Oh, that popped open really quickly. <sighs> Yeah, you definitely got the, the barley. A little bit floral. Not as floral as Mifos. But certainly a little bit floral. Let's <laughs> form a little bit of a head on it. Oh, that's lovely and pale, that is. And a lovely little pale colour. You will notice that I don't actually have the beer glass with me today. The famous beer glass that's in the dishwasher. And quite frankly, I couldn't be asked to... Uh, uh, hand wash it. So I've got to deal with this paint, you know, this plain pint glass there. Just let it settle. It's got a big, you know, two finger head there. Two fingers on the head there. Well, it's a lot more floral now it's in the glass. I'll shut up and I'll give it a taste then, shall I? Again, full of flavour. Do you know what? I think that's one of the most carbonated beers I've had in a long time. It's not making me particularly gassy, though. I haven't burped yet. But yeah, you've got the floral notes, the barley notes. I want to say there's a little bit of citrus in there. I might be wrong. There's just a little, little bit of flavour that I can't quite work out. Overall, it's a good lager. We know it is. It's a well-known lager. <clears throat> there you go. There's the burp. It's one of them lagers that, you know, you see in most pubs. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. I going to swear there, but I stopped myself. I bloomin' love this. <clears throat> I think it might even get the highest mark of the series so far. I might even push it to a nine goes down easy, nice and smooth. You've got subtle flavours, but not too overpowering. It's just a lager that you want, really. A nice drinkable lager. It's certainly a summer lager. So yeah, for the rating, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. So that will make it the highest. Fair play to him. Uh, quite excites me, that beer, actually. Let's get it in the book. Write it down in the book, shall we? Let's find the blooming page. 
yes, yeah, so I'm going to write down the, the rating. Yes, and it is the highest, which puts Sisk in second place. Oof, all the burps are coming out now. Beer Moretti, nine. Hats off to him, my favourite lager so far. Absolutely cracking. Let's scratch it off the board, shall we? So there we have it. I've just rubbed off the Beer Moretti section on the Italian section there. On the top half of the chart, the chart's filling up nice. Bit of a gap here, then a couple of lagers there. That's 10 done. That makes it 10%. We're making some good progress here. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.